Hey everybody. Okay, so I've been doing these short little tutorials as I'm getting ready so y'all don't have to stay on here an hour. This one is on a little bit of contouring and lifting the cheeks and a little bit of highlighter. So, um, I just ordered this and I really like it, but it is super, super, super pigmented. And um, then I just ordered one of the very darkest... Um, this is actually like a foundation stick, and I have one that matches my skin, but I decided I wanted to try it as a contour because we don't actually have per se contour colors, but that's okay because you can always use um, just your darker colors as contour. So I like to contour right underneath my cheekbone, so I'm going to just really lightly. You want to feel that bone right underneath your cheek, and that's where you basically want to lay it, always going upward. If you have a jawline that is thicker, you're going to go right down here on the jawline. I'm not going to do that today. Sometimes I do, so feel that bone, and that is where you're going to place your contour. You're going to blend later. Okay, my face is small, so I don't have much left for my cheeks. Um, but anyway, you can already see if I backed up a little bit how that lifts everything up. There's something else I was going to do. Oh, I know what it was. I want to, I love the contour down the side of the nose. So I'm going to take like a pre precision brush. I really like how that looks. And then I'm going to come down the nose. I'm just touching the top of that. I'm going to blend that in in just a moment. Okay. So as you can see, that already sculpts the nose. Just fun little stuff if you like doing this. I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to blend that in first. Whatever brushes you want to use, tap and blend. Don't scrub away or it'll be gone. You need to leave some there so you can see it. Okay, so nose done. Well, all except for I have to put a little bit of highlight there. So then I'm going to take whatever brush you choose. This is not the brush I normally use. I just had it in hand, so there you go. So I'm going to blend that in. See how that sculpts upward? All right, just a tiny bit goes a long way. It's going to do the same thing here. Sometimes you can do your forehead. Um, my skin has been giving me some trouble in the summertime. Um, I tend to get a little bit of, um, I can't remember, non-carcinoma. You know, I get, I have that. I just have that. I have to go um, quite often, and I don't think I've ever had less than 10 things froze off at a time. Um, don't hang out constantly in the sun. We also have uh, foundations that have sunscreen um, or you can put it underneath. So there you can kind of see that. You don't want to come down too far. I can see I may have gotten down a little bit far there. That's okay. Um, can't be perfect, right? All right, so then the cheekbone, the apple, you can see when you smile, but when you smile, everything drops down. So you want to have your face relaxed while you put this on, because when you smile, it's gonna come up anyway. So this is super pigmented. I gotta be really careful. I've only used it a couple times. Okay, so I'm gonna dab not too far down. That apple is already there. All right, and then I am going to take a blending brush and I'm going to blend up and out, up and out. If you want to know any of these colors or anything, just message me below what color it is if you like it, and we'll go from there. And I can also color match you with possibly some different colors for your own skin tone. So there you go, then you've got that nice little chiseled look. Now, if you're like me, um, I really do like, I really, really do like a, like a highlight, highlighter. I have one they don't make anymore from Unique. So always, if you love something, grab yourself it before it's gone. Um, this is so pretty. 
just so pretty. So I'm going to go in just a little bit, hopefully a little bit, and I'm going to dab on there just to get a little glisten right above there. Try not to go under your eye. I was getting too close to my eye at one time, and <clears throat> that's not becoming because then it shows off all of my wrinkles under my eyes. Another little tidbit that I got, um, if throughout the day you start to crease a little bit, to take a little bit of something moist and just dab. Let's see if I can kind of show you. Um, this is great. I might post this in my fab after 50. I use the Lebray. Um, so it's the eye firming cream. I can't see without my glasses, guys. Ah, Okay, it is smooth and firm eye repair. So I'm going to take a little bit of that. Do I have two pair? I thought I had two pair on my head. And what I'm going to do without messing up all of my makeup is just do that a little bit. Sometimes if it's a really long day. Now this is earlier in the morning. So imagine these poor little old eyes in the afternoon. I will take like, um, like a sponge and put a little water on it. Oh, uh, let's see. Maybe you've got some rose water. I had that too. I didn't think about it. And, and again, just a little dab. Give yourself a little hydration underneath there. And then it'll look a little bit better. Okay, so that's a way to, if you're finding you have a little bit of creasing. Uh, as we get older, you're not going to stop that. You can hide it a little bit. But things are going to settle in a little bit over time in, in those areas. Um... This makeup is really great for that. Not happening for the most part. Ooh, look at that bad boy. Okay, so anyway, we've got all that. If you want to chisel down here, um, what you're going to do is put a little line here. And you're, I know it sounds counterproductive, but you pull it down and it's going to shadow and make your, um, make your line down here look very, very slender. If you want to lift your forehead... I'm already thinning up there. I don't think my forehead needs much of a lift. So anyway, because you can see it, um, all these clips in my hair. So that is it for now. The next thing you are going to do is go in and you are going to pop it all with some lipstick. All right. Have a great day, ladies. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please comment below or ask any questions. Bye for now.